Passenger in the vehicle, step out with your hands up. There's no he one. Said, he said no. Shut the door, man. Passenger, step out of the vehicle with your hands up. This is the Dunn County Sheriff's Office. There's no you know, one, one bro. Pain, her in the vehicle. Go on, hire it. Occupant, step out with your hands up. Do it now. Unless it's just like a safety precaution, bro. There's nobody in there. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Texas Chris, coming back again with another video. And today, AZ by Toto, we'll be reacting to Code Blue Cam. Active duty Marine flees deputies at 130 miles per hour for a dentist appointment. Your teeth couldn't be that dirty, my brother. You can wait. Let's get right into it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. In July 2023, a deputy on patrol heard over the radio that a Wisconsin state trooper was actively in a vehicle pursuit in Dunn County, Wisconsin. The trooper had tried to pull over a speeding vehicle on the interstate, but the driver fled. While positioned at a crossover, the deputy observed the suspect vehicle passing by. Mm. Upon activating his emergency lights, the suspect quickly accelerated, eventually reaching speeds of 134 Gosh. miles per hour. Deputies later identified the driver as a- I may or may not have been going faster than that before in my life. Not saying I have, not saying I haven't. No contest. It was on a legal road though. In my scat pack. 21 year old male named Ira, who they soon learned was embarking on a significant road trip at the time. What was that night, nice, the rest stop. Reason for stop: 86 miles an hour and 70. Vehicle's currently going 130 miles an hour. Copy 1080 East Vancouver. Stop. Reason for stop: 86. Whatever type of cop car that is, this is not catching up at all. Level to the 41. Direction 45. Speeds 131. I still got eyes on the vehicle. Traffic is light. Fog is clear. We're slowing down here. As the pursuit continued, another deputy ahead attempted a moving roadblock in front of Ira. However, he veered onto the shoulder, narrowly avoiding a collision by mere inches. Try box them in. Nope. 10 for they are Oh, he just passed me. There's a uh, black, I believe, Mercedes. It's got North Dakota, North Dakota plates. What's your location, 28? Just went under the E bridge. Currently eastbound. We are currently in number one lane. The number one lane just passing the 48. Fog is about a quarter mile visibility. Traffic's light. Current speeds, 116. The state trooper ahead then managed to deploy spike strips that successfully disabled Ira's vehicle. Hey. Affirmative. He just blew a tire. Oh, now he's pulling over? Wait, wait a second. The hell they mean he going to a dentist appointment? Bro, it's nighttime. Am I tripping? Set up for a felony stop. Driver, turn off your vehicle. This is the sheriff's department. You are under arrest. So you can count the vehicle stop. Up to 51. Driver, turn off the vehicle. Walk back slowly to the sound of my voice. Keep those hands up. I got covered. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking. On your side, if he doesn't have somebody, we'll call him back. Yeah, let's bring him between the cars. Keep walking. You don't have any shoes Keep on either. Keep walking backwards. 
backwards. Stop. Go down to your knees. Put your hands behind your head. Do not move. Imagine you are. Who else is in the vehicle? Just you? Uh, no, not at the moment. Pull him out of there. Bring him to the back of the first squad. Let's challenge again. I'll put him in mine. This one here. Passenger in the vehicle, step out with your hands up. There's he no said, one. He said no. Shut the door, man. Passenger, step out of the vehicle with your hands up. This is the Dunn County Sheriff's Office. There's no one, bro. The challenge in the vehicle. Go on, hire it. Occupant, step out with your hands up. Do it now. Now, that's just like a safety precaution, bro. There's nobody in there. Yep. Yeah, let's go slow and wide. Okay. I got you on your patch. You got traffic behind us? Yeah, yeah they got it blocked. Okay. It's illegal exhaust. <laughs> this guy. Get the front first, and then we'll pop that side door. All right, front seats are clear. You get cover, I'll open door. Okay. Got it? Yep. I got it. Okay. I can't see the trunk area. Yep. While searching the vehicle, the deputy observed multiple ski masks, high end clothing, and several thousand dollars in $100 bills. Oh, bro, it's going to be rough. We got a bunch of high end, high end clothing and then ski mask right there. The ski mask? Right there on the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get a tow started for it. A couple of ski masks and a bunch of high end clothing. <laughs> All the tire? Did we get a spike on this? No, he just popped it. Mm -hmm. Three of them? Oh. Or three pops? Now you gotta pay for new tires. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Dude. Yeah, we could probably open the eye up here. Yeah. I just didn't think I'd be able to get over the spikes in time. Yeah. <laughs> Doing 130, I'm like, hey, he's gonna be a top. Dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, we pa I think right after you said that, we passed you. I wanna pull him out real quick. I wanna search him again. Ask him some questions. Talk about right place, right time. Did you get spikes on him? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. I was wondering when he said he lost a tire. I'm like, did somebody stick him? Or? I know. I saw you sitting there was, with your back I open. I couldn't tell, like, who's, who was who. Yeah. He, he saw my car and started gunning. I was like, oh, I just got him. <laughs> <laughs> Where were your sticks at? Or where would you get them at? Somewhere there. Yeah, right, right across from the scale. Okay. I, I, so I saw you sitting there with your trunk open, yeah. but I didn't see any spikes get pulled just, or anything. I, and was, I just started east and passed I know. him. And then I switched over to the guy's channel and you called 10 days like, oh. <laughs> I was wondering if that might have been it when it, when it came by. But well, we I got if once he saw your headlights line up on him, he would have taken it. Well, I pulled up like right behind him, and initially we were doing like 80, and then he kind of just slowly crept up, and I was like, oh, this got to be him. So I flipped him, and he took off. And yeah, because initially we heard it was a Jeep Wrangler, and then a four door like Mercedes, and we're like, <laughs> it looks like a Wrangler. It, it looked like a Wrangler. It does look like a Wrangler at first, but I think that's a G Wagon. Yeah, if it is, you do one of these things. I didn't smell anything in the car right away, but there's a couple of ski masks in there and some high end uh, clothing. I saw some high end stuff in the back I was seat. Saying, so, I wonder if you guys um, start searching the vehicle, you find something else. Well, we'll just take it. Yeah. We'll just see you because you're talking at all. I have to go talk to him right now. We haven't even talked to him yet. Okay. I'm Brandon. See what we'll give you. Yeah. Alrighty, sir. Do you have any idea or anything like that? Oh uh, yeah, in my uh, the driver's side left, uh, my wallet's there. Your wallet's in there? Yeah. Okay. Before we begin, I gotta advise you of your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. It was discovered that Ira was traveling from Bismarck, North Dakota, and was an active duty Marine stationed at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, roughly a 29 hour drive. At any time. Dang! You understand these rights? Yeah. Are right, you willing to answer questions? Yes. Across the country. Where right? you come from? Uh, Bismarck. Bismarck? Why'd you run? Um, I don't know if you guys saw in my wallet or not, or my, you see my body bag back there in the trunk. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm a Marine, active duty. I was trying to get How back to Lejeune, uh, Camp Lejeune. Okay. I'm com uh, coming home, or coming back off of leave. And I was just trying to get there. I have a, an appointment on Monday to get my wisdom teeth taken out. And I was just trying to get back as soon as possible. And you thought, you thought running from the cops were going to get you back there sooner? No. 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 Okay. 
Uncle so Peace. then, man, I get being active duty and all, but <laughs> that's kind of a fucking piss poor decision, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, had anything to drink tonight at all? No. Nothing? No, I'm sober. Okay, smoke any weed or anything like that? Nothing. Nothing at all? Okay. What's up with all, like, the high-end clothing and stuff like that in the back of the car? <laughs> oh, the, uh, the suits? They're suits, like shoes. Oh, some I'm, a, I'm a sneaker collector. Oh, yeah? And then the suits, I just... Sometimes I play dress up. Okay. And what to do with the ski masks that are back there too? The ski masks are for pictures. For pictures? Yeah, I have a bunch of uh, prop money back home. Okay. And uh, me and my boys just take pictures like that. Who's your commanding officer? Um, right now I'm not sure because I'm a uh, I'm fapped out, so it's like a temporary uh like IR. job away from my job. Okay. So I'm not really sure who I go through there. Okay. Alrighty. Well, where'd you say your ID was? Uh, in the uh, left. Driver's side. You got it? The driver okay. door. Active right. military. Is there anything in that vehicle ah. that we need to be concerned about at no. all? Nothing at all? I, mean, I have a knife in the, in the middle compartment, but that's it. That's it? Yeah. Sounds good. Well, just hang out here. We're not going anywhere for a while, so. There's a Marine idea. I guess he's in there or something. He said there was something about being a Marine in there. See ya. You want anything else from him right now before you get scooped with him to the guys, yes. you guys want to switch cops at some point? Yeah, we can switch cops. Just an active duty Marine trying to get back to Camp Lejeune. Do you have his 27? Do you wagon? Yeah. Pile of cash and watches and jewelry. That's what I said. Oh, I know, Marines don't get paid that much. Well, he didn't have a name tag on his Marine Corps uniform either. Which well, I asked him who his commanding officer was, and he couldn't tell me. And then, and then made up a story of how he's in a process of getting a different job. Joe was in the Army for a long time. Well, you were too, I guess. Does the ID look legit? I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure uniforms, they keep a, a name tag on them just like we do. I was in the Army. It looks pretty legit. It looks like mine. Yeah. Thank you. Looks okay. Yeah, I'd say so. If not, I bet you that's fake. It's pretty good. Type of thing. You could really make his day. Calls next to next to chain of command. Well, you couldn't even tell me who that was. I didn't figure that a Grand Cherokee Laredo with a bicycle on the back was maybe going 100 and some miles an hour. I know. So then no, when you real. saw this, I'm like, no. I knew I was like in the right area at the right time for him to be coming back like any minute. And then that went past. And I was like, tire on the back. I was like, ah, that's. That's got to be her right there, so. Did he say anything to you? Yeah, he admitted to running because he wanted to get back to uh, Camp Lejeune because he was... Uh, Is it Camp Lejeune, like, East Coast? Yeah, he said he's coming from North Dakota and he's going back home from leave or something. But so. no one knew here. I was going to say, yeah. I said, and you thought running from the cops was going to get you there quicker? 29 hours high. Well, no. Well, if he's still in, he's going to get kicked out now because he's got felonies. No. Yeah, it would be a fire. It seems like there's going to be a gun in here somewhere, but... That's, I asked him if there's anything in here that we need to be concerned about, and he said the only thing was a, a knife in their center council. A knife and a baton and uh, OC spray. Sweet. Oh, Good work, guys. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks for your guys' help. Gotcha. I'm going to roll with him to jail. And What do you need from me? Just four charges for playing? Or? Yeah, you can forward your charges from... I do yours through St. Croix, and I'm doing mine through Dunn County. Yeah, he bounced on the shoulder for me to pass vehicles, so... Oh, not just that, but he passed what that one car was it foggy over there? His construction zone. Okay, so that's <laughs> I mean that's pretty much leads reckless right there. It's foggy, it's doing a buck buck thirty six. Oh, yeah, so. the construction zone. Well I don't know, he was no, in a construction for, for you, I don't know. Yeah. He also has my handcuffs still. Okay. Let's go I'll swap him out your handcuffs out with him real quick and then uh, I'm gonna hit the road. All right, I got your wallet and your phone from your car there, and then the keys are, it's gonna get towed, so the keys are gonna go back with your property once it gets towed, okay? But we're gonna swap you out of cuffs, so you're gonna go on my handcuffs, and the trooper's gonna get his hit back. So why don't you step on out? And face away from me. Take a step forward into the door. Look at that. Yeah. What's your MOS? I'm a radio operator. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Sit back radio to Radio operator. Alrighty. Thank you. Due to the smell of marijuana emanating from his vehicle, deputies initially suspected impairment, but later found no signs of it. Furthermore, he voluntarily took a preliminary breath test at the jail, which showed a reading of zero. So in other words, Ira's decision that night could only sober. be described as a shining example of remarkable unintelligence. <laughs>
Or he just wanted to leave the military. Ira was charged with felony counts of vehicle fleeing eluding an officer, times two, and first degree recklessly endangering safety. He also received over $1,400 in traffic citations. Mm. Two days later, he was released on a $10,000 cash bond. So did they jack him from the services or no? Head over to... I would assume so. Either, either way it goes, comment down below what you think. I just think he made a poor decision. Unless he just wanted to leave the military, just to leave it. Like, comment, subscribe, check out some other reaction videos. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for signing out. Peace.